although the sky doesn't exactly look like it, we have a clear night on our hands. So it's time to set up. This is my Celestron CG5 go-to equatorial mount. And this is my Celestron 5-inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescope, my main imaging telescope. And this is a dew heater strap for to keep the lens from fogging up. And this is my 50 millimeter guide scope with my ZWO ASI 120mm mini guide camera and my main imaging camera, my Canon EOS 450D, which has been astro-modified. So until it gets dark, I'm going to image the moon. Right now it's about just past 50%, so a lot of the best features on the moon have a lot of contrast because of the shadows and the moon's not fully lit. So right now, until it gets dark, I'm going to image the moon and see what I can get with my ZWO ASI 120mm mini uh, guide camera. But tonight I'm using it as a planetary camera. you see here is the Copernicus crater on the moon. This is with my SCT at 1250 millimeters focal length with a Barlow lens to increase the focal length. And you can see the detail is just amazing. So for polar alignment, I use the sharp cap polar alignment feature and it works really well for me. I've been able to get really good polar alignment with this. So it's telling me to rotate the right ascension axis 90 degrees. <laughs> Okay, so I've rotated the mount approximately 90 degrees and it's saying my polar line is poor, which is, which is perfectly normal. So we want to press next. And it's wanting me to adjust the mount in all azimuth. So it's wanting me to use the, the bolts that every equatorial mount should have to polar line your mount. And I'm going to do that now and it that star, you need it to you need to move that star in the direction of that line. So that way. And your polar alignment will get better from there. And it eventually you want that number, you want this number right here to be as low as you can get it. So I've adjusted the mount and you can see where that star needs to go. This star right here, that's Polaris. That star right there needs to be there. And as you see, it'll turn from poor to good 
to excellent and you, once again you want that number as low as possible and these give you directions on where to adjust your mount so it's telling me I want to go down and left I have a good example of a polar alignment for you guys so that's about as low as I could get the number you see like seeing is affecting but that's the polar alignment error and the star is as close to that point as possible it's almost right on so that is the idea of the sharp cap polar alignment feature so here's the story of tonight so the clouds showed up and delayed my imaging for the fourth time in a row but the thing about tonight is I have school tomorrow, so unfortunately I cannot stay up late and wait out these clouds, which also means that tonight's imaging is over. So I'll have to use the data I collected on the moon and I'll see what I'm able to capture with that. Thanks for watching and clear skies.